What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're taking a look at six ways to check hard disk health in Windows 10. So let's take a look at the first place to check and that is inside your BIOS. A lot of people probably don't realize that you can actually do a quick check of your NVMe drives or SATA drives inside uh, the BIOS. So we're going to go ahead and I'll show you how to do it inside here. So go to the advanced mode area down the bottom here on my BIOS. That's where it is inside here. We're going to go up to the advanced tab, click on the advanced tab. And then what we're looking for here is my drive, which is the NVMe configuration. So I need to click on this one here. Inside here, we're looking for the actual drive itself. In my case, it's an A-Data drive. Yours might be a Samsung or another type of brand of drive. But once you're inside here, you will then see uh, some uh, self-tests options. So you can see I've got it set to short here just for this video, but you've got a short and an extended. And also you've got control only test. And there is also when you hit the drop down control and namespace test. So you've got a couple of tests inside here. Once you choose your options here, you can then go to run device self test. And you can see here, because it's a quick test, it's told me it's a pass and the drive is in good working order. So that is the first place where you can check to see whether your drive is failing when you have uh, some sort of NVMe drive or SSD. Your BIOS may be slightly different, but it should be there. So check it out. Now, the next method is to use the software that comes with the drive that you've purchased. Now, see a lot of people don't even install this software, but if you go to the manufacturer's website, whether it be a data, Samsung, or any other type of drive, they normally come with their own software. So you can monitor the drive itself. Now, a lot of these Chinese brand, cheap brand ones don't have their own software, but some of the major uh, manufacturer brands do have their own software, like for instance, a data and Samsung. So this is the a data SSD toolbox. This is the free software that comes with their hard drives or their solid state drives. You can see here, it does have quite a bit of information in here. It tells us the information about the drive. We can get drive details. We can also have a look at the terabytes written, the drive health, and also the estimated life remaining on that drive. So this is very useful information to see whether the drive is in good work in order. So you can click on here as well, and it does give you some smart uh, detail information about the drive as well, if you're interested in that sort of thing. But really, it's just to check the status of the drive to make sure the drive is in full work in order. You've got some diagnostics here, which you can use. You can see run a quick diagnostic scan on your drive by clicking on there. You can also set your temperature uh, alerts here and estimated life uh, under a certain amount of percentage. You can set that up here. So if you want to run a quick diagnostic or a full diagnostic, you can do them here. So let's do a quick diagnostic. You can see that worked out OK. Under the utilities, you've got a bunch of stuff here and you've also got system optimization. This is for the drive itself. You can run an SSD optimization. And once you've done this, it should complete and tell you everything is running okay and it's all been set also down below while that is running you can see the os optimization basic and advanced down there which i'll show you just in a second so if you're concerned about the drive itself whether the drive is failing uh, then you can use software like this to quickly check the smart information and also the information about the drive to see whether the drive is starting to fail and if it is then you need to back up your data and replace the drive. You can see SSD optimization is now done. We can also do our optimization for our OS and by clicking on the apply. And you can see automatic uh, defragmentation, hibernation, all that sort of stuff. You can do that with this software down there. And I've already applied that to my SSD. So let's take a look here at the next option which you've got available to you, which is going into Explorer here and taking a look at your drive, right clicking on it and going to properties inside here, you're going to see a little box popping up, which is this one here. And inside here, you can now go to the tool section and do a scan on that drive. This is pretty common and it's built into Windows 10. You can see there's an optimization drives here. You can see it was done two days ago 
and it was the last retrim of that drive. We can quickly trim the drive again, and also we can go into error checking, which is for checking for errors. Now, Windows is a good way of monitoring the drive. Basic tells me the drive is in good working order. There's no need to run a scan on this drive. Uh, they've not found any errors on the drive. It's normally working in the background monitoring the drive itself. Now, I have no need to run a scan on this drive, but I will do a quick scan just to show you exactly what it looks like. It's basically doing a check disk on the drive. So you can now see it's doing an error checking on this drive. This will run a little scan here. It tells you 40 minutes, then it goes down to seconds and then uh, down to 15 and 10 seconds. You can see the reason why it's doing this is because it's quite a fast drive and it will quickly fly through these tests. Now, if it was a mechanical drive, it might take a little bit longer to do these particular types of uh, checks. So just bear that in mind. Now, of course, you're not going to see any black prompt box here. You can see the drive was successfully scanned. There was no problems. You can check the details here. It will then open up Event Viewer and you can go in here and have a look at all the information that it's found. Now this runs obviously a stage check, so stage one, stage two, and stage three. It will run checks on that drive and it will tell you all the information and it will be all listed inside the event viewer. This is where you get all your information about the check that is just done on that drive and whether the drive has any bad sectors or if the drive is failing, you will get that information inside the event viewer here. You can also run this inside command prompt as well. Uh, and I'll show you basically how to do that as well, just so you can see both ways here. But these are basically what it's doing here. This is more the user friendly way. But you can see here, it's got it down in stages, stage one, stage two, and stage three, and so on. And then it goes down and explains exactly what those stages were and what checks it did on that drive. The drive's in good working order. So let's close this off. And I'll quickly go to the command prompt box and I can show you basically what that's done inside the command prompt box. Type CMD in the search and run as administrator. This will open up the command prompt box window. We can then go up to the top here and type in here CHK DSK space C colon for the drive that we want to scan. Push enter and you'll get the same results as it goes through and does a check here. You'll see stage one. It's going through examining basic file system structures. Then it goes through stage two, where it's examining uh, the file name linkage, and it will go through and do stage three as well, and so on. So let me just let this finish, and we can then check to see what the results were. So you can see here, down here it will give you the readout of what it found, and it found no problems with our drive, and no further action is required. No bad sectors were found. That is what you're looking for, if there is bad sectors, it's time to back up your data and replace the drive. Now, I get asked that question quite a bit. Is there a way to fix it? Uh, really, once you start getting bad sectors, really want to start replacing the drive because it becomes volatile and it can crash and lose all your data. Let's move on to another way of doing it, which is heading over to uh, Western Digital's software here, which is Data Life Diagnostic for Windows. You can run this for your hard drives, not for your SSD. So if you've got a hard drive, mechanical drive, you can run this and it will run a check on that drive and basically tell us whether the drive is bad. You can see where the drives are listed here inside device manager. You can see I've got two drives on this particular machine, an NVMe drive and a mechanical drive. You can also type in uh, system information into the search box here and open up the system information window. This will also tell you uh, where to find your drives go to components then go to storage and then disks click on there and it will tell you the disks that are listed into this machine here and you can see i've got two disks here on this particular machine and uh, you can see there's the uh, st2000 dm086 that is uh, a C seagate drive in there and basically you can run a check with that western digital uh, software there it tells you the model up there as well and also you can see the a data one is listed here so now we know what drives are here we can then go ahead and run that test on that software to see how bad the drive is using their software so let's go ahead and install the software this is the data lifeguard diagnostic for windows get this installed on the system and then launch the program okay so let's go next and here we have the two drives. So now we know 
we're not going to be checking the, the NVMe drive because it's not compatible with this software. So we're going to go for the mechanical drive. You can see the smart status is already telling me that it's passed and the drive is working perfectly fine. So you can run more extensive testing on this drive. Up here, you'll see uh, highlight the physical drive, click here. And now you can run a test on this drive, which is quick test or extended test or erase or view uh, test results. So run a quick test on here to see whether there's any sort of problems with the drive itself. So I'll let that run. Now remember the drive is already passed the smart test. It's now doing a quick test to make sure the drive is working fine. If you're getting some sort of problems with the drive after you've done the quick test and the drive is showing up as bad with bad sectors, you'll get a report. And then the best thing to do is literally uh, replace that drive, back up your data immediately and replace the drive. Now just show you a couple of other websites here which you can get other software from, but basically, uh, the digital life does work pretty well with a lot of other drives but if you've got other drives you can use other manufacturers websites to download their tools whether it be for the jitsu drive itachi uh, you know samsung and uh, you know seagate and also uh, digital western digital types of drives you can use the software to test those drives okay so let's move on to a another test here which you can go into command prompt type cmd in the search box open up command prompt and this is a very basic test which you can do which is wmic space disk drive and then space get space status and then comma and then space and then you want to do model and then basically push enter here and you will get the two drives showing up here depending on how many drives you've got it will show them up here and it will say status is okay it tells me the drives are functioning fine and they're okay it's a really basic test but it's a good starting point another way of doing things is using third-party tools like crystal disk info this will give you the power on count and the power on hours tells you the health status of the drive is good it tells you the temperature of the drive and a bunch of other information down here like power cycles and things like that if they are showing up orange or red uh, then you need to start thinking about replacing the drive you can also check a mechanical drives with a crystal disk info you can see here it does give you some information about it as well and then moving on to some other software which you can use that does a similar thing as crystal disk which is the smart clear disk info uh, and this is uh, by kairi fred really nice guy basically this software will do the same thing tells you exactly all of the same information as you get with crystal disk info gives you a lot of information here and then there's another piece of software which you can use, which is called Hard Disk Sentinel. This is not free. They do a free version, but they have got some limitations on it. But it does give you a load of other stuff on here, like uh, the same sort of thing, smart readout, temperatures, information, logs, and other things. It can monitor the drive in the background and all this sort of stuff. There's quite a bit about this piece of software, but I don't find it necessary in 2021 you've got plenty of other options available which will check the drive for you very quickly and it's for free whereas this one is more of a paid option so that is the hard disk sentinel uh, which you can use as well so i hope this video has been some sort of use to you that's six ways to check the health of your hard disks or your ssds my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk big shout out to my youtube members who join my youtube members group I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now.